Hello, we just wanted to take a minute to talk about our Glen of California set and a couple of other pieces that we have in our showroom uh, before the Glen of California gets delivered to its new owner. And then maybe just talk about the construction of mid-century modern furniture just a little bit uh, because um, just through our interactions with customers and people that are interested in this furniture, uh, they don't always know the terminology that we kind of just spout off because we're familiar with them. Just to begin with, um, so we have our Glen of California set here designed by Kip Stewart, a very notable designer, also designed for Drexel, designed the Declaration series. It's very well known. So his work with Glen of California is a lot less well known, which makes these pieces very rare. Uh, I believe that um, you couldn't really get these pieces very readily outside of California. So the fact that we got them here in the Midwest is pretty cool. So uh, these have a very Scandinavian look. They're very clean line. They kind of have that little orangish tint that makes you think of teak. Um, but then again, these pieces are extremely well constructed. They have solid wood blocking between each drawer. So these are extremely high-end pieces of furniture. Now let's talk about their construction just a little bit more. I said these are extremely high-end. Now sometimes when we talk with customers and we say, the piece has really beautiful walnut wood grain veneer on it. Well, what does that mean? Well, it's real wood, but it's a thin piece of the premium wood. So it has the really exceptional grain and it is adhered to either solid wood or an MDF core in most instances. So like I said again, these are extremely high quality. These pieces have veneer on top of solid wood core. Now, many, many of your furniture makers, including Broyhill, Broyhill Brasilia, uh, Lane Acclaim, all of those pieces have walnut veneers or other wood veneers and parts of those pieces of furniture are MDF, believe it or not. So when you talk about quality and you say, oh, it has excellent veneer, veneer is not a bad thing. It's on virtually every single piece of mid-century furniture aside from Haywood Wakefield. They had completely solid wood. And a couple, of, a handful of other manufacturers, Ace High, had real solid wood furniture. But almost every single maker utilized MDF in some pieces, and they all utilized veneer. So that kind of helps you give a, a little bit of uh, reasoning when we say, oh, it has beautiful veneer, that doesn't mean the piece is low quality at all. It just has uh, the veneer on top of either solid wood. And then usually the MDF and the mid-century pieces would be in the side panels because it doesn't work. Now, if we move over here, we have a basic wits bedroom set. I wanted to talk about these a little bit because uh, you don't see these super often. They have the poles kind of like American and Martinsville Accord. So it has your aluminum poles. But you'll notice on these pieces, they have Formica tops. So when we say Formica top, what is that? Well, most people are familiar with Formica tops. Either it be on tables or their kitchen countertops. And they're on kitchen countertops because they're incredibly tough. Like these laminate tops on these dressers look brand new, but we know that these dressers were made in 1968. That is how tough these Formica or laminate tops are. So does that necessarily make a piece worth less money? Well, not necessarily because it just kind of goes for what you're looking for. Do you want a carefree surface that you can just wipe with a damp cloth and that needs no maintenance? Then the Formica tops are for you. Or if you think you may want to use this in a child's bedroom, you can set glasses of water on here all day long and it will do nothing to this top. So 
you know, the different ways they made things uh, just made the pieces more functional or more durable. And Basic Wits is a high-end brand. You still have your solid wood drawers uh, with plenty of blocking in here and real wood uh, panels and real wood dividers. So it doesn't necessarily make these pieces any lower end just because they have the Formica tops. It just all goes with what you're looking for. And um, so that's just kind of a little bit of a background about the construction of different pieces. If you ever have any questions, you can reach out to us. Um, a lot of times we will price according to the quality of the piece. So that will really give you an indication or we'll price according to the rarity of the piece. So that will give you an indication about the, the pieces construction. And so just, just remember veneer is that thin layer of premium wood and it will either be placed on solid wood or an MDF core. Your laminate or formica tops um, really don't make a piece really any lower end either. It's just for the purpose of making them more durable. So uh, that's kind of another rundown of uh, the construction of some of these pieces and hopefully that will help explain uh, when we throw out these terms in our listings like well it's a solid wood piece with walnut veneer it's a solid wood piece with uh, formica or laminate top you'll kind of know what that means of this a little bit more so all right well thanks for watching and uh, and we'll see you next time